Hey, it's Alex, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these chunky rings. Most importantly, these frog rings. And so I've been seeing this all over like Pinterest, Instagram, and all that stuff. And the moment I saw these, I was just like, I gotta have them. I really do. <laughs> it's a must. So I made my own. Right. This is actually the second try because the first time we bought some oven weight clay into some store but apparently it wasn't oven weight clay it's just normal polymer clay that the ones you play with and so what happened to what is when I put it in the oven and so this is the second time and I just bought some clay off of Shopee and they actually hardened and it didn't turn into puddle so I'm very happy so let me show you guys how I did it and hey there so i got too tired of going outside and finding for some oven baked clay so i just decided to go to shopee and buy from there it's also a lot easier and a lot safer and also i bought other rings because i have a spending problem well anyway let's get started with the chunky ring making um, I'm starting off with just opening the package, of course. And then I just took a bit of clay from the green clay. And the first thing I do is knead it so it's a little bit more malleable. It's not hard exactly, but I find it easier that way. And I'm just making a strip, a thin strip, quote unquote thin strip, because I made it a little too thick but they are called chunky rings for a reason anyway so i'm using my hand as a sort of model so that it would fit my finger yes if that makes sense and to like to stick the rings the ends of the rings together i just push them together if that makes sense anyway so we're making the eyeballs of the frog and I just rolled a ball and cut it in half and rolled them into two balls or as you call it mitosis okay that wasn't a good joke anyway so I'm just pressing in the balls on the ring and it just sticks like that and to make the blush marks I mixed in some pink and some white because the pink they had was too bright for me so I just mix it in to make a lighter pink and making two balls again um tinier balls for the blush marks and i'm just sticking it in right there and that's basically it i just have to bake these and add some details later and the next thing i do i'm planning on making this into a sort of cow print but i'm gonna paint in the cow print later so i just made that thing <laughs> And next is this sort of squiggly uh, ring thing. Um, yes. So I'm just rolling it into a long tube thingy. And just squiggling it and stuff. And it just sticks to each other. So that's a really good thing and it's really easy to make honestly and after that i decided to make this for my brother while well, he asked me to make it um so i'm just making cones to make these spikes and i only made three because i feel like if i made more it would be hard to wear so Now it's time to bake and I'm crossing my fingers that it does not melt into a puddle again because I'm going to be really, really sad. So I preheated the oven at 180 and for 15 minutes I baked it at 130 I think. So they hardened and surprisingly they look really cute. And so I used wax paper so that the rings won't stick to the pan. And that's basically it. It looks so cute. Now we're going to paint on the details. Whoa. 
and I'm using a Posca paint marker to add the eyes and the little mouth on the frog and you look at them they look like boobies but anyway and lastly I made a cow print and yeah <laughs> Ta-da! it's a cow bro and to seal all that in I'm using clear nail polish So I did some calming berry picking and I wanted to include it in the video but they are beautiful and they are delicious. I've ate quite a few. By a few I mean I ate a lot. And yes, I really enjoyed this. I enjoyed spending time with my family as well. And mostly eating the berries. And yes, they're called some pinnit or wild berries. And apparently the way you eat them is obviously eat them raw but apparently you can add sugar well first you rinse it out because it's dirty and then you add the sugar and i just have a uh, brown sugar right now and i'm just putting in spoonfuls okay and after you add the sugar you just shake it up and after that you have a nice and tasty snack Okay, hi, so that's done. Let me show you guys what I've currently made. So I've had the frog ring. I made three. And they're adorable. Those are look like movies. And I also made like a cow print one. And I don't know what this is. Miso? Whatever, man. <laughs> and uh, this one. I can't remember. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> this one, my brother designed it because he wanted to look cool and threatening. But if I were to be threatened by this, I don't think I would be. But don't tell him that. And oh, and the last one is this one. I don't understand what this is. I... And the rest are just the ones I bought out of sh from Shopee. And yeah. And um, I really like these funky rings. They may look like childish and stuff, but they're not. Yes, you know, um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you make frog rings with me. And if you do, please comment down below. And yes, like and subscribe. I need it, please. And share with your friends, man. I need the views, please. That is it. That is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye bye.